Brian is kidding me, and then right? <laughs> they all need to be equal for it to be equilateral. There's not equilateral or equilateral. Let's talk about this one. Um, somebody else in the University of Michigan, Timothy. This our class. What do you name it? Well, I need a Q R S T U V. Q R S T U V. And what did you say? Equal angular. Equal angular. Why did you say it was equal angular to me? Oh, we don't know about it. It's none. It's none. Why do you say none? Because uh, all of the sun on the side. Not the point. Not the point. <laughs> what? Equilateral. Equilateral. That is the right answer. Why do you say it's equilateral? Because all the sides. All the sides are the same. How do you know that? in the angles? Yeah. Well, Vern, what do you think about that? Why is it equilateral? It's equilateral because they got like all, all the sides can grow. How do you know that? Like one of the mark, like each of them. They got the one tick mark going. Yeah, and it's right? the same. That's what Tiffany said, all the sides are congruent. The reason we know that is because we got these tick marks. Okay? Exactly. Do you guys have any questions about these other ones? Does anyone want to tell me what they got for this? Uh, oh, I got regular. Y'all need to see hands, guys? hands up. So the teacher, your hands up. You still want to answer? For this one. Um, I have regular. I mean, you know, I've got equal angles. You have what? Equal angles. What did you name it? Um, G-H-I-E-F. G-H-I-E-F. Awesome, starting with G, going around. And you said it was equal angular. Why'd you say that? All the angles are the same. So I noticed something else about that polygon. What about the marks on the sides of the t shirts Thank you for example. So it's got five sides, right? This is a little tick mark on five sides. You don't know. Somebody else want to help her out here? All the sides are congruent. The t shirt was right that all the angles are congruent here. So what do we know about this one? Oh, it's regular. It's regular. It's regular. Awesome. <laughs> That's really good. That's cool. Okay. So equal angular, equilateral, we know it's a regular polygon. That's a five-sided one. I put up here um, a picture of a regular pentagon. Does anyone recognize this? It's you can free flow it. Yeah. Yeah, it's the pentagon, right? It's actually five <laughs> pentagons inside of each other in Washington, D.C., right? Where all this stuff happens that we're not supposed to know about. Exactly. I just want you guys to know, like, like I said at the beginning, geometry deals with stuff that we see all over the world, or we see out in the world. This is just an example of, can you guys tell from the picture what kind of pentagon this is? Can I see it again? What kind of, what kind of polygon this is? Okay. Convex? It is convex. What else? Come on. Yellow brown. It's a pentagon, but which kind? Okay, equiangular, equilateral, or regular? Because I want to see hands, but not like Yeah, regular, okay? At least it looks like it. I'm pretty sure it is. All right, guys, if no one has any questions about that, I'm going to go to our group activity that we're going to do next. First thing I want you to do, yes? Um, I want to talk about that in a second. Um, okay. Um, what is the difference between a square and a rectangle? Okay, let's talk about that. I want you to erase your whiteboards. Give them to the materials manager for your college group. This should be happening silently. The materials manager is going to take them back and put down the whiteboards. Okay, walk into the front here. Put down the whiteboards, then the markers, then the erasers. Go back to your seat. This should be happening silently. I want to make sure we have time to get